Hello everyone, this is Quidabble again, and I'm finishing up that part two to remaking or reworking a, a usable budget unkillable team, and this should introduce a few tools to you. I'm gonna use three tools primarily, and they are right here. This was a stun calculator created by a gentleman named Rust. Without going into too much detail, basically you just put in numbers here and it, you know, these are the true numbers. All these other ones are my true numbers and I haven't quite uh, filled in. I'm creating Aotho right now. So as you can see, things are changing. I'm not going to use that one, but so it's only showing me my boots and my gloves that have HP percent on them. So then I remember that my, see here, my offense, that's what it was. I had my gloves of 15 and the benefit to this is um, I don't want to go to that 16. I do want the HP percent, but there's a 50% chance it's going to increase defense. And at the end, if I have some room to play with, I might still do it, but there's to, to, to get the chance, but attack is only going to go up by a few points or might make crit damage. So it's really not worth it in my opinion. So I'll equip that. And then these boots, in my opinion, were worth the risk. And I did get two attack percentages. So I, I pushed it to 15, and then I made the decision to try to get that second one on attack percent, and it worked good. So there's those. And then I'll click that off. It'll show me all the boots that I have. And then I'll go back in here. And I do remember that my because of the ones I chose, they're right here at the top. So I want to try on Yaga the Insatiables armor and then I could narrow it down just to helmets that way it kind of cleans it up for me and I I pick that one so I'll say try on that so I click try on and I get uh, the items that I want and then the rest of them because of some pre looking I know that the helmet or excuse me the shield came from in here and it was a low eight I believe yeah, right here. And you don't want to raise that any higher because you don't want your defense to go up. And I got a, I got some really good stats on it and the HP percent. I said, well, that's good enough. I don't want to push it. I could try later, but for me to try to get that HP percent or the crit rate, I'm going to have to increase the defense as a primary stat. So it's good to leave this one low until you know your numbers. So I'll try that one on. And then the other item was the chest. So I can go in here. I can click chest and then I can click accuracy and it narrows it down and then these to these. And this one had no um, defense stats and no speed stats. Speed becomes a little bit of a difficulty too. There's a HP attack, attack. So I could raise that HP up higher if I need to, but I don't want to. If I, every time you push it higher, it makes it harder for you to get the next one. So I'm gonna try that one on. And then I'm gonna come in here and I had the attack, crit damage, I don't, I mean, it was a crit damage item. So crit damage, yeah, here we go. This looks like it. Um, so I'll try that one on. I'm going to hit pause, and I'm going to pick a new banner, and then I'll be right back, and I'll show you which one I picked. All right, it took a little finagling, but I did find this one. Now, when you click here, it's going to drop the item, but then it goes back to the inventory, and then you click here. Now, this one is a maxed out. Uh, accuracy for my armiger and it has a little bit of defense but adding 58 points doesn't seem like that but that's the perfect 13 uh, it's got HP and I can increase the attack on this one so this will this will increase me by a lot once I throw in two or three more percent everywhere on the attacks that I can but I don't want to spend those glyphs until I test it out so I'm gonna click try on and you're gonna see that my numbers come up really good 124 so now I move over to uh, my calculators and I type in my new speeds or my new numbers 53217 and here 1386 well under the defense line that I needed so you can see Aothor is selected so if I spend the 300,000 it's going to work. But then again, I want to double check on the Deadwood Jedi speed calculator for the clan boss. And I'm going to put his speeds back in here at 124. So, forth. so the speeds look good. And the 
Um, the stun calculator looks good. So yes, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to equip for 300,000. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. The accuracy, I'd ended up using uh, the accuracy set here, so there won't be any question. Will he place those? Yes. So here we go. I'm going to hit equip. I want to make sure. So it does a nice thing. Take some armors and stuff off everybody. You kind of have to remember where they came from. So now when I look at A.O. Thor, he has um, these numbers. And you can come over here and look at your stats. 53,217 and 124. So now another nice thing about this is now I can compare. I've got 313, let's see, uh, 3,800 attack right here. And I want to just to double check what my um, other gentleman had. So 3,800. Uh, my last guy, to, just to see if this was an improvement. I know the poisons are going to be improvement, but everything counts for damaging. So if I go here and I do the same thing, I click um, filter, equipped, fitting room, so then I can try on Aothor's helmet. You can see that would increase him. So if I just click try on, these were the stats that he had. So the defense was higher, the HP was higher, but the attack was a thousand lower, and the crit rate was a little lower also. And, but the accuracy was about the same, and I never had any problems with uh, with that happening. So, all right. So I'm gonna get set up for a couple battles, and uh, we'll just cross our fingers and hope that that three hundred thousand was worth it. So hold on a second, I'll move over there. Okay, so here we are. We're about to do that first battle, that first test run. So you always make sure you're on the one you want. You don't want to be here or here by accident. You want to be here. And then you want to, uh, you can see your goal is supposed to be 70.273 million, whatever. And then, of course, you drop info. That's important, too. But, so I'm going to go ahead and hit battle. And then all I need to do is plug and play my Aothor with, let's see here by rank and then cruise down here a little bit and you know there should be sitting right in here so there he is so there he is so i got i plugged and play over and that increased ally attack in all battles by 21 percent which is going to help all four of these champions and remember he's got an extra thousand attack so again you hit uh, a t start and then i hit auto works the same as ever Come back to Man Eater, hit pause, and then Aothor. I have three choices. I can do this one, place some blocks, cools down skills. I hope it doesn't use that one, but if it does, now remember my Aothor is not booked at all. But it doesn't matter. This is the only thing I could do probably better in this case would be a three turn. So this is an unbooked Aothor run, and then of course his regular attack. And if yeah, so right now we're just going to do his poisons. So I'll go ahead and click that. Put all four of them on, and then she's going to attack. Bam. And then he goes, and we'll go one or two cycles, and you can see how it works. Now, if my speed calculator gave me the proper estimate and everything works out properly, this team should easily just beat the tar out of her. I'm just going to wait until that next uh, stun comes back around, and we'll see what happens. But I am going to pause it for your watching view. So here it comes up on turn six is the next three turn hit. Bam, hit properly. All right, so I'm going to hit pause, and I'll show you how this ended. Now, a little trick I'll just share with you real quick is if you start getting a bad run, you can always manually close down your sheet or your app, your program or your app, the game or your app on your phone or on your computer. And uh, because the game has been real nice about not sucking in keys until after a completed battle for the clan boss, then you're looking at the potential of saving a key. So if this run had gone bad, I would just 
pause this, close the app down, and restart, make some adjustments, and try again that way. The first time I ran through this, I was using keys every other day. It took me like a month to originally make it up. But now with these new tools out there, it's awesome. So, all right, I'll put it back on pause. All right, we're coming to that very first run. I haven't had to reboot it or restart it or anything. And I'm at my end of my first run, and I'm already at 26 million with a couple hits left. Uh, so this has been a complete success. There's been nothing wrong with this. I just thought you'd like, just like to see it in slow-mo as it comes in for the battle, as he gets that really big hit. But, yeah, blew out my 23 millions, 22 and a half, 24. I had an occasional 25. This one, 27 million. Just loving it. And Eleanor, uh, Eleanor L did about the same. Looks like everybody did pretty much the same, just a uh, little bit more in there due to the increased attack from Aothor, but added another three or four million just because of Aothor's poison. And I have more options with him because I can book him and bring down his four turn cooldown on the um, his poison ability I can bring that down by one so I'm looking forward to tomorrow's runs I'm gonna let that one stick I didn't break it I didn't want to run out of it but uh, just a successful a successful run so thank you for watching today I uh, hope you enjoyed it uh, I know this one was a little long I'll try to go in and edit a little bit and take a little bit off for me it's at 24 minutes maybe about 25 so I'll go through and try to clean that up for you. And thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something from it. Have a good one. Bye.